Well, it's kind of windy. Sorry, sorry, sorry for the wind. I'm going to be doing a demonstration video on how to drive this Polaris uh, 700 twin electric fuel injection vehicle. This is a 2007 Polaris Ranger XP. She does what it was, it does what it was designed to do. So, you walk around your vehicle, make sure everything's all good. You check your fuel, we've got fuel. Now you climb on. You're probably thinking, well, what does that do? I don't know what that black thing up here does. What's that? I don't know. What are these? Well, this is for running like a electric pump or something. There's your gear shifter. Um, speedometer, stuff like that. Your key. You can do stuff on there. Lights. Four wheel drive, two wheel drive, one wheel drive. What on? No. Right to where you have to click that one twice. Alright. And then you got your park brake set. So let's begin what we want to do. So you want to analyze your area. Okay. You want to come down here, you want to pull park brake park brake release. Park brake will come off. Place your foot firmly on the brake. Make sure you're in neutral. You don't have to be in neutral, but it's nicer. And then you turn your key and you push it over until it turns on. This one has got kind of a starting problem. She doesn't always want to start. And now one thing. We almost always keep the headlights on. We don't keep it on full beam. We usually keep it on this. Just headlights so people know you're there. Which I don't understand. Well then once you've done that you can... You're probably thinking, well, why ain't I moving? Oh, just note, you're meant to be 16 years of age with a valid driver's license to drive this. Well, so you've got reverse, neutral, low, high. For this purpose, we are going to test every gear. So we're going to start here with reverse see this it'll show the gear you're in fuel levels and your rpms then if we click this little button we can see hours the time that's always wrong and your miles and then something else then your rpms again you see because like it'll if i rev up it'll change then your speed even though our speedometer does not work well so we're gonna look back Gonna turn your steering wheel accordingly and you can slowly, slowly reverse. So it'll get louder and you can reverse to the area that you're looking for. You can reverse like if you're gonna go, say you're going back here to back into this barn right here and hook up to that trailer. You could back in there and do that. So for our next purpose, we're gonna go in neutral. You don't go nowhere. Low, this patch with four, patch with four wheel drive, makes your turning really hard, makes you go really slow. But if you were to be getting, being stuck somewhere, perfect. Now high gear is what you'll almost always see me on this with. with because you just drive and she'll move like she will move when you tell her to and high and this has power steering so you just go and steering's pretty tight you can slow down it's got pretty good brakes like Paul I'm gonna do a brake demonstration here in a second so hold on like say we're going zero miles an hour, we're actually going like, I'd say 15. Our brake stop is in 15, 20 feet. Not even, this thing's got great brakes. So, it's shield mode! If 
you tell her to go, she'll go. So, well, I hope this has been helpful in some way or form. I'll just like to show you that it can be turned on in gear. There we go. Yeah. Well, hope this has been helpful to you. Thanks for watching and goodbye.